Leif Schreiber has established himself as one of the finest and most diverse actors in Hollywood over the past 25 years. Due to his somewhat towering 6 feet 3 inches figure, he is often typecast as a tough guy with a short temper or a sinister upper-class figure. These days, he is well known for playing the lead role on the Showtime series Ray Donovan. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Leif Schreiber. He's a Yale graduate. Schreiber studied acting and received his Master of Fine Arts degree from Yale School of Drama in 1992. In 2011, he also delivered a lecture at the university's Elizabethan Club's 20th annual Maynard Mac. He almost had to wear muscles in X-Men Origins, Wolverine. In the film X-Men Origins, Wolverine, Schreiber portrayed the character Victor Creed, also known as Sabretooth, who was the half-brother and arch-nemesis of Wolverine. For the role, Schreiber was initially asked to wear muscle suits, as producers felt that he wouldn't have been able to pull off the kind of physique needed to play Victor Creed. They had him in a muscle suit that he felt humiliated by. Instead, he demanded to be allowed to get into shape and worked out with Hugh Jackman, combined with an intense diet that allowed him to look as menacing as he needed to be. He was offered the chance to return as Sabretooth in Logan. He was approached about reprising his role as Sabretooth in Logan. Logan would have reluctantly come to Sabretooth for help in Oklahoma City. However, Schreiber's commitments to filming Ray Donovan prevented him from making the shoot. There was also a deleted scene in which one of the young mutants would ask Logan if Sabretooth was real since he told Laura that a lot of X-Men comic book storylines were made up. He was considered to play the Hulk. Before Edward Norton was cast to play Bruce Banner in The Incredible Hulk, Marvel considered Leif Schreiber for the role. If he'd landed the part, it might have prevented him from committing to starring in Ray Donovan. He was also one of several actors who were being considered for the role of Harvey Dent, Two-Face in Christopher Nolan's film The Dark Knight. Ultimately, the part went to Aaron Eckhart. He is a narrator extraordinaire. You might know busy actor Leif Schreiber from his Emmy-nominated starring role on Showtime's Ray Donovan, but what you might not know is that he has a thriving second career as a voiceover artist. His deep, pleasant voice has made him an in-demand voiceover artist for documentaries, commercials, and animated movies. His longest-running and most recognizable voiceover gig is the HBO football documentary series Hard Knocks, which he has narrated since 2001. In an interview with Dan Patrick, Schreiber said that he loves doing voiceover work, and Hard Knocks is particularly great because it's so well-written. He also said that people don't recognize his voice and realize that he's the narrator of Hard Knocks because his voice over voice is so different from his regular speaking voice. He explained that his narration is inspired by John Faisna, an iconic broadcaster who was the voice of NFL films from the 1960s to the 1980s. His Directing Debut He made his directing debut with the 2005 film Everything is Illuminated. The movie is based on the novel of the same name by Jonathan Safran Foer and tells the story of a young man who travels to Ukraine in search of his family's history. Schreiber not only directed the film but also adapted the screenplay. While it didn't achieve significant commercial success, the film demonstrated his talent as a director and his willingness to explore diverse and thought-provoking narratives. Since his directorial debut, he has continued to pursue both acting and directing opportunities in various mediums. He's an accomplished theater actor. Schreiber has a strong background in theater and has performed in numerous stage productions throughout his career. He has received critical acclaim for his work on the stage and has been recognized with several prestigious theater awards. He was even heralded as the finest American theater actor of his generation by the New York Times. In 2005, he received a Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a play for his performance in Glengarry Glen Ross. He co-founded Blue Check Ukraine. Schreiber is a co-founder of the Blue Check Ukraine Initiative, an organization that vets groups working to support humanitarian aid efforts to ensure that donations are fast-tracked and go straight to Ukrainians on the front lines in its war against Russia. In September 2022, he launched Slain Irish Whiskey as a way to raise money for his charity. He also becomes the ambassador of the United 24 Fundraising Initiative in support of Ukraine. He collects art from his friends. Schreiber claimed he's not an art expert, but as an actor who came up through the Yale School of Drama before finding success on both stage and screen, he can relate to young artists' struggle to earn a living from their craft. Over the years, he's purchased art from his friends or from the New York Academy. He told Artnet, It's not a business to me. I'm not thinking about resale value. I'm buying for reasons that go beyond the work itself. 
I want to keep something that somebody did that means something to me. He used to be a bike messenger. Before he gained recognition as an actor, Schreiber worked as a bike messenger in New York City. He still regularly rides his bike around the city with his children.